Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to do kind of my rendition of how I might want to wear my makeup and hair at an EDM festival. Not that I actually will because sometimes it's like so hot there you can't even stand to have makeup on and in all reality these space ones might fell out from me dancing the whole night but <laughs> It doesn't matter. You can always put glitter on your face, no matter how hot it is. This is a NYX Iridescent Glitter, and this um, Lit Glitter Glue, just so you guys know if you're looking for like a solid glitter glue, this is the best glitter glue. You put it wherever you want your glitter to stick, stick your glitter on, and it's not coming off. Like, it'll come off when you wash your face off, but... I'm not just like it's not gonna just fall off of your face so you don't really have to worry about that coming off at the festival I know a lot of people will take like some type of petroleum based jelly or like what do they do by what's that stuff it's like jelly texture and it smells like mint or like hairspray or whatever and put glitter on it and put that on there but that shit's going to come off in about two seconds when, you know, you're sweating and dancing around. So, this lit glitter glue is where it's at. I also wanted to make sure I got this filmed tonight because this is my last night with my baby pink hair. I'm going more natural tomorrow. I have a hair appointment. And I wanted, my hair is kind of, you know, festival themed. This I wanted to film it before I changed my hair. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've just removed all the makeup that I had on from earlier today, washed my face with a hot wash rag because that's what I always do before I put on any makeup. And then the next thing that I did was just spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Since we're gonna be using a bunch of glitter today, and probably have a lot of fallout. So eyes first, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And you know what? I think I'm actually gonna move the mirror that I'm looking into to this side so that I can, because I think this is the eye that I usually focus on and I'm gonna be trying to show you guys so it doesn't make sense for me to be facing this way. So I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe uh, 35B palette, taking the white shade on the top left corner and just setting the primer that I put down on my eyes. Take a look at this palette real quick and just see how beautiful those colors are. The most fun festival palette. I need to wash my brushes. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. You guys, I have all these makeup brushes spotless clean in less than five minutes. Look. These are all my Mor Morphe brushes that I'm going to be using during this tutorial. All of them are completely clean with no pigment left on them in less than five minutes. This Dante's Disposable Makeup Brush Cleanser is a lifesaver. Just a tip. I learned about this little guy during my freelance endeavors doing all sorts of research for my freelance makeup kit. And before that, the only way that I knew how to wash my brushes with was with like a brush shampoo and like soap and water. And then your brushes have to sit like all overnight for them to completely dry and like foundation brushes or like thick powder brushes they don't even dry in a night to wait like two days for them to completely dry because the inside's still wet and you don't obviously want to be using powder and getting it caked up and all in there when it's still wet so then i found this type of cleaner just spray it on the tip of your brush and wipe it around on a uh like a wash rag or a hand towel and all the pigment just comes right off and it's not wet afterwards because I think with the alcohol probably helps it dry faster. I know alcohol dries like instantly. Actually a really popular one that a lot of people do know about is the Cinema Secrets one. It's the same concept but it's blue colored and you can get that one. I think you can get that at Sephora. This one you have to order from Dante's Disposables which is kind of like a bulk uh, type store for 
uh, makeup artistry things like disposable makeup wands and you know things like that sponges and stuff but the cinema secrets one smells well it's got this vanilla smell but doesn't smell like vanilla to me it's like so strong using a migraine every time I've used it I've literally gotten a migraine after using it just washing a few brushes and I start getting a migraine so obviously that doesn't work for me this one is non scented and I like it better I think I'm gonna use eyeshadows from a few different palettes because my favorite transition shades are in the Morphe 350 palette. I think I'm gonna go in with the yellow shade, the really light yellow shade. I'll probably add this shade in there. Yeah, we're just gonna make a nice transition shade to use. Transition shade to use. And I'm not being tidy and neat with this look whatsoever. Okay, let's see if I can actually zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see that I make better. Okay, once I've got the transition shade just built up a little bit, I'm gonna take some shadow shields. Okay, so now that you have these really bizarre things on your eyes, I think I'm gonna just Start out light and build up. I'm gonna go in with in the 35B palette this light pink shade right here. I think what I'm probably gonna do is put this light shade of pink everywhere, even down on the inner corner of my lid here, and then build up darker pinks and warm browns towards the outside. I think it'll make a pretty, really pretty effect. Okay, I'm obsessed with that light pink shade. I don't know why I've never used that before. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. This shade and this shade. I'm gonna go in with that one first and then start building on that one. With the more orangey red one first. And now keeping that a little neater on the outside. These colors remind me of watermelon because they're like Neon pastel. They're like a mix of neon, but they're not super opaque, I guess. They're kind of sheer, but they are neon. And this one especially reminds me of watermelon. It's like the perfect watermelon color. And one thing that you have to remember when you're getting ready for a rave is that you like almost can't even mess up. As long as you slap some glitter on your face and something bright, Everyone's gonna think that's what you meant to do. You just don't really have to worry too much if you mess up. Okay, so my camera just overheated and I had to <clears throat> let it cool down for a little bit and I have no idea what I was talking about, but I know I was going in with that shade and then I went in with that shade and then I just blended it all out. Now I'm gonna take this Fair Minerals, it's actually a blush. It's called Hot Shot. I've had it for years. I have no idea if they still make it, but if they don't uh, still make it, a hot pink, like really pretty hot pink color. So any eyeshadow of that color will do the trick. Anytime I ever do a pink eye, I always have to use this blush. I actually thought it was an eyeshadow and I was just reading the name to show you guys and I realized it was a blush. It's like really bright. I don't know who was using this as a blush. But it's really pretty. Now that I've got that packed on, I'm going to go in with my original brush that had my transition shades on there and blend it out. I'm going to take it and bring it up like this. Blend it again. I'm gonna go over to the 350 and I'm gonna take this shade right here as another crease shade. Now I don't want to put too much of it because I don't want it to make the pink eyeshadows that I already have on look muddy. I just want it to deepen them up. 
and it makes it less neon pink. But we don't want this brown shade everywhere, we only want it in the outer corner. Next, I'm gonna take some darker shades from this one. I'm gonna go in with that one. It's obviously one of my favorite colors. And we also go and end up going in with that one. Okay, now going with the darker color. Okay, now that I've got the intensity built up the way I want it, I'm just gonna take that really light first pink color from the 35B palette. Keep putting that on the inner part. I'm blending out the inner part here. Because of course, I always get too carried away and get a bunch of shadows on the inner part. Take some white and put it on there too. Lighten it up. Okay, now that we have all of this out blended out about as well as I could blend it, I just took all of the brushes that I've used with the colors that were already whatever was left on it and went over the areas that I had touched on just to blend it out a little bit. Now I think I'm gonna go in with this one here and this one here. They're just really light pink. One's kind of a frosted one and one's kind of a shimmery one. Mix those and put it on the inner area and see what happens. I added kind of a frost but it didn't really do much. We're done with that part of the eyes. Ouch. Oh. Ow. Before you put the shadow shields on, stick them on your hand a couple times so that doesn't happen to you. It's like ripping off a band-aid. Oh. Oh. They're not supposed to hurt. Okay, so now for face, I'm not actually going to be using a liquid foundation. During the summertime, my skin's too oily and I have to use a powder foundation. I use the Bare Minerals. It's the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 15. My color is Medium Tan 18. So the way that I do this is I still use liquid concealer. I finally got the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm obsessed with it. It's the best concealer I've ever used. So I'll show you how I use liquid concealer with my powder foundation because we all know that we can't put liquid concealer on top of powder foundation. We have to put it underneath. And you don't have to use very much of this concealer at all. A little bit goes a long way. And the concealer shade that I'm using is light medium. It's not even that light on my face. I'm used to even using lighter because I highlight with it. And it's just the beginning of summer, so I'll, I'll get a lot more tan anyways, and this shade will work even better. Then let's do a little bit right here. Under where my contour will go. Because I get I have redness right there. Just uneven skin tone all the time. And sometimes it shows through and makes my contour just not look as sharp as I would like it to. So do you see just that tiny bit of concealer covered this entire bottom area from blending it out. Then I take it under my eyes. I like to blend it out under my eyes last because... I crease like within two seconds and so as soon as this is blended out under my eyes I put powder directly on it so it doesn't have a chance to crease. Okay so once I have that all blended out to my liking then I take the RCMA no color powder and I just put the beauty blender like that. Like that and it goes right under my eyes. And my nose, chin, forehead. Real techniques, just setting brush and wipe it all away. 
Then I take my powder foundation, tap some into the lid. I take this Bare Minerals Kabuki brush. It's what I always put this foundation on with. It works great. I blow away or tap off the excess. And then just gently and in circular motions, rub it all over your face and just be careful not to get it on your eyeshadow. Okay, so my camera overheated again and shut off on its own so i just finished blending out my powder foundation and then i put my eyebrows on off camera while i was letting my camera cool down the next thing that i do is take the anastasia banana powder the little round disc that comes in the contour kits i just take the banana powder i put this under my eyes to further brighten since the concealer is actually underneath of the foundation. I do that under my eyes, on my nose and my chin and just kind of blend it out. I'll even take some under where my contour goes. Nose, put some right there. Forehead. I'm gonna go in with the TARDIS Pro Glow Palette and the powder contour shade which i have it pan on it's my favorite one i'm taking the nars Eda brush and just going to pretty sharply contour and then i'll bronze after and blend it out okay then i'm going to take the morphe e34 brush and do Around my hairline, blend this more, and put some on my jawline. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe blush palette using the Morphe E4 for a blush brush. And I think I'm gonna take this one and this one together so probably those two okay and now for my favorite part which is the highlighting and most of the glitter I'm going back in with the TARDIS Pro palette and my favorite highlight shade that I think I've ever found besides Jaclyn Hill and Becca highlights is this one it's called Stunner it's gorgeous so on this Luxie 512 Small Contour Brush, it fits perfectly right here. So I'm taking Spritz and MAC Fix Plus on there. Dip that in Stunner. Kind of wave it around, let it dry a little bit because if you put it on soaking wet right there, it doesn't blend out very nicely. It looks patchy, which is not really an issue on a rave, but whatever. Then bring it up, round, put it down like this. We did basically want a heavy highlight right there, so we're just gleaming in the sun. And then strobe, which is the highlight right above that. I actually think I'm gonna take that one too because it has glitter in it. And then just pack that on. You can't have too much highlight at a rate. You just can't. This side always takes more highlighter better, this side always takes bronzer better. It's like I can never get the highlight just right here, and this bronzer always patches up right here. Can't forget. Gotta get the highlight mustache. Okay, now I'm gonna finish up underneath my eyes, completely finish the eyes, and then do the rest of the glitter last. Take the one that I used the lightest color pink in the beginning and probably put that light pink again and that will be my transition shade for underneath the eye. And I'm actually gonna mix that color, sorry, that color and that color again, one at a time actually, and put those on. Okay, so my camera overheated again. What's new? Apparently that's a thing I'm gonna be dealing with. So while I was off camera, I can't just stop working because it's like really late and I need to go to bed. 
I went in with those two pinks from the 35B palette, like I said I was going to do. I back in with the Bare Minerals blush, and like this, all underneath the lower lash line, and I literally brought it all the way down here, like, if my dark circles go like this, about this size, I literally brought it like at least halfway down into my under eye, and just, you can see... Just really like over dramatically smoked it out down there. It almost looks like sickly but with pink, which I like. I'm gonna take those brown colors from the 350 palette and put that tighter up right here. Excuse the faces I make while I do this, I can't help it. You do it too, don't judge. I'm gonna actually deepen up the outer corners on top too because we kind of lost some of that depth and it's bugging me but just real quick i'm not being too particular about it now since we've got a huge thing going on anyways okay and then once again just blending all of it out okay i think the eyeshadow is done finally I'm going to go back in with a banana powder and this brush again and do it under my eyes again to soften that pink smoky that's right there. It'll just help blend it out. I'm taking the center highlight shade from the Pro Glow palette again on this little tiny brush using my MAC Fix Plus. This is what I'm going to put on my inner corners right now. And then I'm going to take strobe, which is the white glittery one, and put that on my brow bone. I'm going to take a mixing palette. This one is by Morphe. And any liquid highlight will work. This is the Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics All Over Glow Luminizing Gel. I got it in a boxy charm. I'm going to put a little bit of this on the mixing palette and then sprinkle glitter in it, mix it around, and then dab it like that. The glitter that I'm going to use, one of them anyways, is by Essence, which is that brand at Walmart that is literally like one, two, three dollar things. It's called Hidden Stories Pixie Dust. It's just a really, really fine milled, kind of a silver iridescent glitter. So if you can't find this exact one, I'm sure you can find a similar one somewhere else. Or just use any, any glitter that you want, it doesn't even matter. And this is what we have. Then we just mix it around. More glitter. I'm just gonna take it on my finger and dab it. And it dries down, it's already dry. Put a bunch on this side, do the same thing. I'm gonna go in with this NYX glitter. Oh, look how iridescent and pretty that is. I don't know if you can see that. It's so iridescent, silver and pretty, and the color is crystal. I'm taking my Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. And what I do is just dump out some of the glitter onto a mixing palette, take a small brush, dip it in the liquid glitter glue, tap off the excess, and put it where you want the glitter. I want the glitter all here. Then dip your brush in the glitter and stamp it on. There we go. Use your finger. Okay, so my camera died again. It keeps dying and overheating, dying and overheating. So while it was charging for a minute, it's like one in the morning and I need to go to bed. I have to get up at seven. So I just finished up my look off camera. I had barely a few little touches left. So uh, I'll tell you what I did. This glitter I put on the inner corner and put a little bit right here. I just, this NYX white eyeliner on my lower waterline right there to just brighten the eyes up a little bit more. I took this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Meringue, put that on my lips. Then with my Tardis Pro highlight color in 
think it's stunner yeah and stunner I just took like a little eyeshadow brush did that stamped it on top and just stamped it on top of my lip gloss and it makes like a metallic gloss immediately don't you have to go out and buy metallic glosses just put highlighter over top of your lip gloss and you have a metallic lip gloss oh forgot I put on the Ardell Demi Wispies Studio Effects. So here's the final look. Then I would just go put on your festival outfit. I would put highlighter on my collarbones here and on my shoulders right here. So in the sun, it's just, you're just glowing. And that's about it. I just can't get over the highlights. <laughs> Thanks you guys for coming by and watching my video. I'll see you next time.